There's no question that Canva has a lot of amazing templates for social media. So you find one that you like, you customize it with your brand content, and now you want to post it. Well, did you know that there are some built-in tools that will let you post directly to your social media accounts right from within Canva? There are a few ways you can do this, and I'm going to show them to you. My name is Kat, and this is Canva Catterday. The first way to schedule your content is to use the Canva Content Planner. Go to the app section and you'll see it right down here where it says Content Planner. This is a Canva Pro feature, so you will need a pro account in order to use this. I'll put a link down in the description for a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro in case you would like to test it out. So we're going to click on the Content Planner right here and we have this handy calendar. You have some options. Canva, first of all, is going to highlight some of the holidays that are coming up. And you'll see here at the top, we can schedule to Instagram. We can connect our social media posts. We can schedule a post right here to a different type of social media account. You will need to connect your social media accounts in order to make that scheduling content show up. So let's go grab a post. I'm going to go here to the 15th. I'm going to click on this plus sign and it's going to ask me what I would like to post to my social media accounts. I can scroll through some of the content that I already have. I can also go, go through some of these templates that are here, but I'm going to click where it says projects and I'm going to scroll down because I happen to have a folder for my social media content. And let's go to, what do I want to post? Let's see. How about, let's go to apps and let's go to Instagram posts right there. And I'm going to use this particular one right here, apps that you would like to try. You have a date right here that you can adjust if you would like to. So right now I have it scheduled for November 15th, but you can change that by clicking on these three dots and adjusting that date. Next, you have to select a channel. You pick from any of these channels that are right here. So I'm going to choose my Facebook page. I already have that connected to Canva. If you don't have it, you're simply going to click here where it says connect your account and you will be asked for permission to connect to that social media account. So I'm going to click on my page right here. You're going to tell it uh, some type of caption. So let me go grab my caption. I have one right here. I'm going to copy this just from my notes. I'm going to paste that right in here. And I only want the first page. I don't need all of my pages because there's some multiple pages within that design. And I'm going to click done. Right here, I have the option I can schedule or I can save it as a draft. I'm going to click on schedule and it is going to then schedule that content using the content planner. And then it will then post to my Facebook account on that specific day. That's it. That's all you have to do for this particular content planner. It's very, very easy. So let's go on to the next method. The next method is to schedule your content right from within a Canva design. There's a few different ways that you can do this. If you go over to the app section and you search for schedule, you will see there are some different scheduling tools here that you can use. You connect to Later, Publer, Loomly, Planable. All of these are scheduling apps that you can connect to your Canva account and then schedule directly from that account. The other method is to go over to the right hand side and click on the share icon. You're going to click where it says see all and then scroll down to where you see social. If you click see all, you have different social media accounts that you can schedule to right from here. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, all of these will allow you to schedule right from within that Canva design. You'll have to allow permission. So if you haven't connected your accounts, you'll go through the connection process right here from within Canva. But once you've done that, you'll be able to schedule that content right from within the design window. So I'm going to click on Instagram. And for Instagram, I have two options. I can schedule the post, I mean, I can post it immediately or I can schedule that post. So I'm going to select schedule post and click continue. 
Once again, it's going to ask me to connect to my account. I already have it connected, but if you don't, you'll click connect new account. So I'm going to click on my account name. I'm going to pick which page I would like to use. I don't need all of them. I only want this one page, which I think is page 13. Yep, page 13. Again, I'm going to write my caption. So let me go grab my caption that I already have. I'm just gonna copy it from my notes, my caption. Now I can publish now, or I can click on this little icon right here. This is going to allow me to schedule from Canva. This is a pro feature because I'm actually using the Canva scheduler to do this. So I'm going to click on this. Again, I've got my little calendar icon. I can pick whatever date that I would like. So let's say I want to do it for November 19th. I'm going to pick the time. So perhaps I will do 8.59 a.m. And then I'm going to click done. And it will then schedule that content directly to my Instagram account right from within this Canva design. You can do the exact same thing on your different accounts. Perhaps you want to go to, let's say your Facebook page. You can click on Facebook. Once again, you will enter the page that you would like to post and you will enter the content and then you can either publish now or you can use the scheduling tool to go ahead and schedule that content right from here. A few of the social media platforms will ask you to scan a QR code in order to connect to that account. One of those happens to be TikTok. So let me show you how you will do that. I'm going to go to a video and I want to schedule this to TikTok. So you'll click on share and then you will click see all and then go down to your social accounts and select TikTok. Right here, you see it says scan me. So I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to scan it to show you what it'll do. So let me bring my phone over here. Here we go. And I'm going to take my camera and scan that QR code. You can see it pops up on my phone right here. And it's going to take me to the mobile version of Canva. And then it will automatically connect to TikTok. So I'm going to click continue. It's going to prepare my design. And then it's going to allow me to do it right from TikTok. Here's my account, and here is the preview of that post for TikTok. And then you'll click on next. You will add your content, your hashtags, your captions, and then you can click post, or you can save it to your drafts to schedule at a later point in time. Another way to schedule your Canva content is by connecting to the app called Metricool. This is what I use to schedule all of my social media content to my channels. I absolutely love it. And the best part is it's free. I'll put a link down in the description in case you'd like to try it. I'm going to go over to share, click on see all, and this time scroll to the bottom where you see more options. Click on see all. And there are several other ways that you can share your Canva content. One of those is with this app called Metricool. I will click on it. I'm going to select PNG as my image type. I do want all 10 pages, but if you didn't want them all, you could select which pages you'd like to publish. Let me go grab some text, place it right there. I'm going to click save, and then Canva is going to prepare that design and send it to Metricool for me. Once it's finished, I can go over to Metricool and see what it looks like. So here is that post that I scheduled from Canva. You can see that it has my 10 pages right there, as well as the captions, and it is scheduled to my default uh, social media channel, which happens to be Instagram. I can then go through and post it to any of my other social media channels. One other little plug for Metricool that I wanted to show you, they recently added a new feature here where you can schedule directly from this app using Canva. You can connect your Canva account and get all of your content pulled into Metricool. Let me show you that real quick. You're going to click right here on this little icon with the images and you can schedule your content from a Google Drive or connect it to your Canva account. You can see that it's showing the folders that I have in Canva as well as some of my other content. I can navigate to any of those folders that I would like. So let's say I want to post a reel 
and let me grab one. How about this one right here? I'm going to use this Polaroid and I can simply take this reel and drag it right into the calendar of Metricool. It's then going to ask me what is the format type. I'm going to change it to video because that's what this is. It happens to be a reel. And I'm also going to bring it to its highest quality of the vertical 1080p. You can pick whichever quality you want for this video, but I recommend doing it 1080. And then I'm going to click continue. Metricool is then going to import that video from Canva and place it right in the calendar. It's going to ask me if I'd like to accept this. I say yes. And then I can add my caption. So let me grab a caption. Do I have a caption for this? I do. Let's grab that. I can plug that in here. I can tell it that it is a reel. And then I can go ahead and schedule that to my Instagram account. And then it's available and it will post at the designated time. It's so really, really easy to schedule your content from Canva. You can simply use any of these tools that I have showed you today. It makes it much easier than having to just download it and then upload it to your social media channels. I love using the scheduling features here and there's so many different options available. Why not try it? If this was helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.